Dancing Queen. Good afternoon. Good Stephanie. Afternoon. Are you talking to me? <laughs> It's you. Oh, okay. Hello. How are you? Because normally you um, introduce my, my name first. Oh, yeah. No. And like, just, I just, all of a sudden, I'm like, you're like, good afternoon. I'm like, okay, good afternoon. <laughs> Sorry. No, uh, yes. I you wanted brought to... your dog. Oh, yes. Lainey! <laughs> so cute. She's sleepy. She doesn't even bark. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she's like, whatever, you guys. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, you do yeah, your thing. Yeah, have yeah. fun. I'll just go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I'll go to bed. You guys do your thing. Oh, All man. right. So today we have a uh, four minutes track for our dancing queen. Yes, they're doing great. Oh, yes. Days. Getting yeah, a lot of number ones. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like, what's your name? Mm hmm. Irimi Moeo. Irimi Moeo. Um, now, there's been actually a lot of controversy these days, yeah. and I actually want to talk a little bit about that with you, since you are, you know, you will, you used to at least be a part of a girl group. Not really. <laughs> Not really. Don't say that. But, um, I mean. It's so weird. It's been like so long. It's, it's been, yeah, it's been so long. But, and you too. You've been. <laughs> well, see, but that's the thing though. For me, it was a duet, so it didn't really feel like, well, you know, still... it was like a group group. Oh, come on. And we only put out one album, so. <laughs> But. You, well, you already had experience, so. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is because uh, with Four Minutes' uh, song, the song that we actually covered today, yep. uh, there's been a lot of controversy of number one, the lyrics. Yep. Number two, the choreography. Uh huh. And uh, just how provocative it has become. With the Korean girl groups in Korea. Yeah. Being very sexy. <laughs> they're cute. I mean, their concept is like cute and sexy. It has er everything. And um, uh, what I want to talk about is the choreography. What they have now is it's very depends on the lyrics. Okay. Like, so it's based more, a lot. Okay. Yeah. So it's based a lot on the lyrics. On the lyrics. Okay. Like, literally... Literally, it's like it's very obvious. Okay. Like Irimi Moyo, they're like, it's like when you see the video, the clip that I um that we put up uploaded, it's like their their gesture is like thinking. Okay. Like you know their hands is like on on your chin. On your chin, it's like you're thinking. You're thinking. Like, oh, what's your name? Okay. And what's your number? When okay. they do that, they put their fingers, you know, like a telephone. Gesture. I don't know what this is. I don't yeah, know how to explain it. <laughs> tell them just like hello. Tell them gesture. I do. I know. And like, what's your, you know, what's your phone number? It's obvious. So when you see the video and when you see the, when you, well, actually when you see the vi video, uh, you can actually um, uh, listen to the lyrics more. Okay. Like you more, uh, focus. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. So you saw it. You saw it. Like, like I. Dance. Oh yeah, no, I saw the I saw the choreography. You're wearing short shorts again. <laughs> well, they're wearing it too. Yeah, I know. Excuse me. No, I don't know why, but uh, I used to live with you, and it's probably because I haven't lived with you in so long. It's whenever you start wearing shorter things, I just the mother in me kind of comes out, and I'm just like, let's cover you up a little bit more. Really? Because like a long time ago, you're like, oh, where the short. <laughs> Your pants too long. Yeah, I used to do that. Um, well, I don't know what's what's happening to you. What? I I think you're getting older. You're Maybe. not getting. Oh my! Everyone's getting older. But yeah. but like today, you're like um, do you ever like blinded or something like that? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's like very uh summery. Oh, this um elegant. Oh, actually, this was a present. From one of my cousins last year. Really? And uh, I normally don't wear this kind of girly oh, no. like it's so attire. Like, it's so girly. It's like. But it's so... so hot outside that this is this is the only stuff that I can wear now. It is really hot. I'm yeah. In Korea. It's really and your hot. hair, it's like all shorter. set. It's shorter. It's set. Your makeup is set. And I'm like, oh, she is happy. She's <laughs> meeting a, a guy or I don't know. I wish. 
<laughs> and she brought her dog. <laughs> See, this is like this is the older <laughs> Azuma and me coming out. The older lady, the oldest. No, no, no. I and your skirt is like. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. Your skirt is like so like cute, fluffy skirt. I think I should be Make singing SCS's daughter sarang in my outfit today. Oh, that fits you. <laughs> that fits you perfectly. I think I should. Your outfit fits, but not the, actually. Yeah, not the face. Just, just um, let's sing. Tell me, baby. No. <laughs> what, what are you talking Didn't about? Didn't you wear that kind of style? Like a no, that like was hundred, for, hundred. no, that was for our um, one concept when we were taking pictures. That was like the off-shoulder kind of concept. That was for that. yeah. I think I saw your the 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 what's that? It's not a profile picture. The the picture in your album. Yeah, that was one of the pictures. I it was took. like so sexy and girly and. That was that was eleven years ago. Let's stop talking <laughs> oh about God. eleven years ago. We always talk about. <laughs> we need to stop our... talking about it. We need to stop talking about it. So, uh, it kind is. of going back to the lyrics, since you brought it up for the choreography. I mean, today the choreography really doesn't have that much to talk about. Yeah, but I really wish that you danced with me today. No, no, because no. this is this is not hard. No, no, no. Yeah, no, like everyone you. can do it. Mm, yes, everybody can do it. Yeah, but no, but no, no, thank you, not for me. Why? Because... I'll leave that up to you, our dancing queen. Come on. But uh, with the lyrics, I want to ask you personally, as an artist, like my number. Oh, oh yes. What is your number? <laughs> I already have your number, girl. Um, when it comes to some of the lyrics that are coming out these days, uh -huh. I mean, with your recent song um, and with your recent single album, even. Uh -huh. I mean, your song itself was not. It was up forward. Right. It was honest, but it wasn't like provocative. Mm -mm. But right now. Uh, there's been a little bit of a controversy with yeah. Hello Venus, also um, Four Minute, and even with uh, Nine Muses with their recent track Wild because of the really up forward lyrics wow, being you very. Really, oh. <laughs> you really watch? Did you do you watch it all the? I have to. <laughs> I know. I have to. I know. I watch I all the do music it, shows. But, um, I thought you were busier than me. Um, I I have a smartphone. <laughs> I try to keep connected. I have a as smartphone, but, but I don't know how to use it. <laughs> not something to be proud about hun. but i want to ask i mean oh you as a female artist uh -huh. do you feel comfortable with this kind of provocative lyric so if you were if i was a songwriter and if i gave you a song that uh -huh. was very you know you know what that's sexy. very very like sensitive question it is it is a sensitive question mm -hmm. because it is something that is kind of you can't not talk about it, but then a way I know that there's a different way to talk about it. Right, but still, I'm a, as an artist. You've been you mm. dance too, and when I see these days the girl groups, um, they're actually when I see it, it's like wow, they're earning money very easily. <laughs> Which is true. Um, I feel that uh, we should talk a little bit about this. I know that you didn't do this as the point uh, dance for today, mm -hmm. but there's one choreography in this song that Hana does that I personally thought was a little too much. A little too. Uh, you you mean the 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 dress? I mean the what is the outfit? Not the, oh, the outfit, yes. Not the outfit, but I'm talking about the choreography. Uh, Hyuna, when she does one of her uh, solo parts, mm -hmm. she kind of spreads her legs and sits down. You know what? Everyone does. <laughs> now, these days, like Girls' Day, they well, yeah. even did it. No, but it's a little bit different because with Girls' Day, they had they did more of like a plie type of, you know. No, they, they do ground plie. Yeah, no, so that's what I mean. Uh -huh. But for Hyuna, it's more of her legs are spread open. Been. I don't want to say this, but you know, like in Korea, when you have to go to the bathroom, she kind of looks right. like. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, uh, oops. Yeah. yeah, but it looks like it. But I think she like that's her concept. I mean, okay. she's the sexy one in her group in, in four minutes. And, obviously, uh, yeah, obviously. And the the dress that she's wearing, the the underpants that she's wearing. Yeah, I, I really do want to ask her stylist of like. <laughs> What? What? I what think was that, that was the whole point. But no, like, I know. I think it but was. But like, what is the point? Uh, I mean, at least when it came to Britney Spears is wearing the thong over her pants, that it looks like... good. You know, it, I mean, it, it looks like, decent. And her, um, that's when she 
uh, the I'm sl- I'm a slave for yes. you, right? So it's like th- the whole concept was like that. Yeah. But she wore a long pants, a, a jeans. Yeah. So it was not too much. It wasn't. I mean, too and much even on the sides, it had you know ribbons on the sides, so it yeah. didn't look. I at, for, at first I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just the way that the pants were designed. But then everybody's like, "Why is she wearing her underwear oh, that, on top?" That, yeah. I'm just like, but that was the concept. I didn't. Of it, I didn't. But... I don't. I didn't even notice. But yeah. I don't know. But that was. But did it? Did she wear it underneath? Also, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think you need. I need. Think, I think you need I to find connections ask and Spears. ask her. It's like if call me did. Britney Spears. My number is. <laughs> I need to know if she was. But anyway, um, anyway. So yeah, this is. I don't know how to explain it, but um, let's ask her stylist. Um, can we connect? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't you guys share the same stylist? I don't know if they still uh, use that same style. I have no idea. Oh, I have no idea. But um, it kind of it it pops out. So it does. It does <laughs> pop out. Um, the the song itself is uh, quite interesting. Also, now when we were looking at the choreography this time mm-hmm. around, uh, they were able to inquire zombies into the choreography as well yeah it seems the zombies. zombies have become a bit quite popular yeah i don't know why i don't know why like either. these days like they do the the zombie even sm um shiny art- yeah they do zombie version i'm like what is that why are you guys ruining your choreography it's like you have like perfect choreography and why are you guys doing that but they do it anyways hmm. okay <laughs> but yeah Oh, so yeah. <laughs> uh, moving on. So uh, when we're looking back at more of the cho- choreography, I mean, obviously, uh, it's more about bouncing today for the choreography. Uh-huh. There's a lot of bouncing going on. Yeah. So, but not it's not a big movement. So everyone can follow. Okay. And when you hear the lyrics, it's obviously so you you just have to follow the lyrics. That's okay. all I want to say. Yeah. Uh-huh. So if you look at the lyrics, obviously, he's asking um, what your name is. So Ida Mi Moyo. So uh-huh. they're kind of looking towards. You uh-huh. and then they it's ask like to the left and to the right. Yeah, it's just the ones alternate the side. And then you ask what your favorite phone number is. So you use your hands to look like you know you're a five year old. You're like hello. <laughs> what is your hello? What's, your what's your number? And so they do that. Um, I kind of noticed that there's a little bit of uh, you know, uh, finger to lip action. Yeah, in the that Beyonce did. Yeah, it's like it's like they're persuading. I don't know. They're trying to. Seduce? convince seduce you know the the boy but okay yeah i think they did that just to 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 give a little bit more sexy taste okay yeah um all right so the face the facial expression is important in this song and this choreography because that's all that's all about it Okay, so the movement is not big. Yeah, the the movement, the choreography is not as big as we've been seeing in the past. Of mm-hmm. course, with like you know, um, Tone One Diaries or Countryside <laughs> Diaries. I mean, we're not getting like huge it's choreography. Not ding, yeah. God. Oh my god, last time my back hurt it like yeah. so bad. I bet it probably did. <laughs> So, um, this week, I mean, the choreography is quite simple to follow. Yep. So, guys and girls, I feel, could probably follow this. But if they this want is to. actually perfect for girls to to seduce a friend, to seduce a guy. <laughs> so, if you think that girls would go out and start dancing, this guys will actually think it's cute. Yeah. Ooh. Don't you think? I, I think so. Yeah, I can, yeah, so you should try. Okay. Not me. No, <laughs> yes, not me. You. 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 When my producer dances, then I'll dance. Oh yeah! Look at, look at her. She's like, <laughs> she's like, oh, you're pretending to, she's pretending to sleep me. But um, come on, that's what? not funny. Oh what? We what? Uh huh? Uh, what? What? Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm gonna make you guys dance. No. Sometimes. No. Someday it will no. come. No, it won't. All right. Well, uh, let's take a quick song break. You know what? Since we are talking are so about mean. <laughs> being about, uh, since we are talking a little bit about, uh, you know, being provocative a little bit, and also girls being a lot more confident these days. Oh yes. I actually am going to ask a few uh, questions to Stephanie. After I have a question this. for you. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, but let's take a listen to the song. And uh, okay. since we did talk a little bit about the choreography up until now, keep clicking at the video and try to follow along while we listen to the track. We have four minutes with their track. What's your name? Itami Moyo. 
All right, yeah, so it's your day. Uh, today it is Dancing Queen, but because mm-hmm. the choreography is quite simple, mm-hmm. uh, for the second part of our talk, I felt that we should kind of go back into uh, what's on your mind for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's on your mind a little bit? What is on your mind? With uh, Stephanie in the studio. Oh, yes. And uh, there is a lot of songs these days that mm-hmm. are being very confident with girls mm-hmm. and how they talk. Mm-hmm. And the song lyrics themselves, not only just independent women, but very strong women as yeah. well. So, Stephanie, I want to ask you. Don't ask me. Why? Because um, you already know the answer. I know. But still, <laughs> um, if you were in a bar or in a club uh-huh. and you saw somebody that you liked, uh-huh. would you go up to them and be like for a minute in the song and be like, hey, what's your name? What's your number? <laughs> Let me get them digits, son. But you know what? Um... Uh, I would rather just dance to seduce, but not ask any questions because I'm so not you would, that kind of. A, so I you would, would dance do it with and, my eyesight. So you would dance and then make him come to you oh, and yes. then ask the question. Oh yes. So you would oh, never no, ask. make him to ask. Okay. Me. Yeah. So in real life, have you ever <laughs> no. confessed to a guy first that you liked him? Oh, <laughs> when I was little. Oh, like, like what? Like middle school. Oh, middle school. You I went was up to... very confident at that time. <laughs> I'm like, I like you. You have to go out with me. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. I've never done that before. Oh, really? Yeah. Even when you're little? Yeah, when I was little, I was even more so. No, you're lying. No, I was really shy when I was younger. I got less shy when I came to Korea. You were never shy. Oh, yes, I was. <laughs> okay, I used have... to cry okay, in we school. have... Um, um, Isak's mother in the studio, <laughs> so let's bring her out. They come to the booth, into the booth, and let's ask her a question. Can we do that, PD Um, can you call Ida's mom? No. <laughs> oh, that's my manager. He's <laughs> coming. Okay. Yeah, anyways, in the morning. Oh no, I hope he's okay. <laughs> um, so. So I drove myself. Wow. <laughs> but yes, um, we were um. Hey, I was really, I was really shy when I was younger. But me, I was very, very like I was the like number one. I had to be, mm. and I was very confident. I'm still confident in myself, but um, because I'm getting older, uh-huh. we are getting older, we all uh, getting, getting older. older. So now it's you have to think about other person's thoughts and everything. But when you're little, you don't really think about that. True. So, so <laughs> I like I actually um like. The guy for six years, Ooh. the whole elementary school. Wow. Yeah, but I never said anything. Wow. In elementary school. Okay. And I moved. My family moved to to U.S. So I never have a chance to talk to him. Okay. And I was like, dang it. Oh no. Yeah. So in the middle school in the in America, I was like, okay, I like you. You go out with me. <laughs> <laughs> so those six years of not talking kind not, of yeah, built up. Do, right, and that didn't do anything, and I was very sad. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, I changed. Wow. But um, since I debut and everything, that uh, after that, I got a little, you know, shy. I don't know why. Well, I feel that, you know, as we get older, we are, like you said earlier, more cautious. Yeah, Yeah, we are more cautious about who we date and how we date people, um, what we're going to do in relationships, if that person really likes me or not. You don't want to hurt yourself. Right. And I don't want secret. Mm. So I'd rather just like, well, no one cares, but (laughs) if I really love somebody that that's like, I don't know, even a just regular, normal, um, even right yeah just a, a normal uh, normal person. person not a or celebrity a celebrity it doesn't really matter for me because that i, I don't really care okay but if i really like someone i will just tell everyone okay yeah that's good <laughs> at least you're confident about that i'm confident but i just need a yeah someone to love <laughs> <laughs> no because i mean with a song like this obviously um for girls these days even in the lyrics it this says is like perfect for single girls Okay, single so for ladies. all the single ladies. So um, I want to ask you for all the single ladies out there, if you had any advice for them regarding of the song. You know, the song is very confident about a girl going up to the guy in a club and saying, you know, I think you're cute. Yeah, um, yeah, can I have name? your number? What's your name? What, yeah, but it's happening these days. It is. Um, so maybe you're around your friends or maybe what you've seen maybe in movies. Oh, yeah. Um, how... What was an awkward moment when a girl asked a guy out? And then what was a uh, a successful moment, if you have any? 
like awkward will be like what's your name and the guy said oh i have a girlfriend sorry Okay, so this is what I have to say. For guys and girls who go to a bar who are taken, uh -huh. who have a significant other and go to the bar, right. why are you there? It's <laughs> why are you there? I mean, they can, they can just have a drink, but... No, but I mean... They pretend that they're single. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. So, But guys, they want to do that. I know that. So it's like, whatever. It's like, you know, because a but girl... But even that guy really liked the girl... I, if that guy really liked the girl, even he's taken, he will still, yeah, probably. He'd be <laughs> like, "Oh yeah, um, this is my digits here. Here's my card." <laughs> I'm sure. You're sure? Yeah. Guys always cheat. I'm just kidding. No, they don't. Um, but really, is there you any? You really think so? I don't know. <laughs> That's not the topic that we're talking about today. Yeah. We're not talking about cheating. We're talking about how to get a guy to like you. You say it's what's in your mind. It's a. <laughs> We have to talk about it. No, For uh, so a little bit similar question is uh, if you have any pointers for girls to get more confidence because I know that you've c become more cautious, mm -hmm. but obviously you have been portrayed on TV and through your music mm -hmm. as a very confident. You know what? Celebrity. Listen to our radio, <laughs> our show because it's like um, yeah, our it's a girls. It's a girl's Girl talk. world. Yeah. Girl talk. <laughs> yeah. And uh, watch my video and practice the dance. When you when you can dance something to a song that, you know, in the club and whatever, then you get more confidence. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. So you're saying that to constantly listen to Dancing Queen and watch the videos, oh, yes. and then as your confidence level goes oh, yes. up, then you're going to be able to... Uh, Acquire more guy friends. Oh, yes, of course. Did you okay. think? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect answer. Oh wow. <laughs> that's that's a very good idea. See, I mean, this is like a female only. <laughs> Females only. Females only. And Vincent is not here. So I mean, this is not watch her in your mind. No, so it's not. all we talk about is from the girl's per perspective. Uh -huh. And uh, our dance is mostly like a, a very powerful, uh, sometimes very girly, sometimes very manly. It has a lot of variety. But um, actually, when you can do the both, you get more confidence, don't mm -hmm. you think? When yes. you can dance, oh, yeah. you can seduce anyone. <laughs> I feel that we have talked about this before. I mean, being if you, it's not so much about dancing well because mm -hmm. uh, I mean everybody has their own uh, emotions when they dance. Right. But uh, if you have confidence with your choreography, I mean, obviously yeah. somebody's going to enjoy the oh, choreography. Yes, of course. Of Somehow, course. some way. Like I mean, when you go to club, just uh, don't do the dance routine because ah. that that's not a good idea. But okay. But actually, that's what I'm doing. The point dances, mm -hmm. like these point dances, can actually help to build your skills with a freestyle dance. Okay, so you don't actually have to go to the club because in the club they don't usually um, play the the the, the Korean K-pop. Yes, even if it's like electronic or -pop. just hip hop. Uh huh. Okay, but actually, you can actually use the the point is that that we did and then you know make it a little bit more freestyle okay so today for instance uh, maybe a freestyle would be instead of using your arm uh -huh. under your chin maybe raising your arm a little bit or oh, maybe yes. over your head and to the left to the right and and that's then, all yeah then that's it then you're just you know moving your 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 body that's left to right already huh you're doing it i'm not <laughs> no, I'm not. Like why, why are you, you always like that? Why are you making me dance? Well, because you dance already, and we put it up a little bit, and the reaction was awesome. No. I'm gonna make you dance. No. Oh yes. No. Well, anyways. <laughs> but yeah. So, uh, especially even last week when we were talking about um, Tierra and Four's choreography, it was a lot of basic hip-hop steps that we talked about yeah so this one is kind of it's very different than Antonio Niriki oh yeah very different <laughs> a lot less choreography yeah. um, but it is still dealing with you know the natural hip-hop bounce that you need to use. oh yes oh yes oh yes that's always with the dance that 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 basic steps are, it has to be in your body true always. Uh, I have a little bit of a question though because I've personally have struggled with this in the past as well. Really? 
when it comes to posture in dances, okay. uh, I know that you've uh, you have a teaching license even in ballet, and I know that well, you. That's important. <laughs> but ballet, uh -huh. jazz, right? Tap, uh, sports dance, mm -hmm. salsa, tango, the posture. Um, hip hop. Posture is always different, and how you hold yourself is quite. Different. Well, ballet is a little bit more different than other dance. Exactly. But. So, for any of our listeners who might have either majored mm -hmm. in these particular choreographies, or if they want to try and break that maybe stiff back. So, you know, if you watch movies like Step Up or whatnot, uh -huh. you can tell that the ballet dancers have a hard time trying to yes. break that figure to do more hip hop uh, postures. For them. Because we always, our teacher always say like you're you have to be very straight up uh -huh. and don't move because yes. our posture has to be our core has to be strong. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to loosen. But the our the the the, the hip hop or jazz and anything you have to loosen a little bit. Okay. So it's important to um, when you're little, ballet helps to to grow a little bit more stronger, stronger and taller. posture. Uh huh. But. Um, Make sure to to learn other dances also because okay. otherwise it looks very stiff. Okay, so maybe so if for they're... me I train in, in SM <laughs> Entertainment, and uh, you know we do a lot of things. We do hip hop, we do we do popping, rocking, and, you know, locking tapping, and rocking and everything. House, <laughs> exactly. So, so yeah. The the dance classes that I've taken in the past what thirteen fourteen years wow. tap jazz ballet um, rocking, you did ballet also popping. they had some weird teacher come like for one yeah, they semester did, yeah they did like jazz too and I'm like oh maybe can, maybe no <laughs> <laughs> I'm like what are you doing yeah stop doing that but you're ruining the artist the, you're ruining the choreography but I mean at home I because a lot of the songs that we've been looking at these days especially in K-pop uh -huh. are very hip hop based yeah so if they were trying because to K-pop yeah be, if they're trying to break a stiff posture is mm -hmm. there any exercises or maybe stretchings that they could do before they do this so they mm. don't look as stiff you know what it's the practice would be the only thing that you, that, okay. that you can make it happen because it's kind of hard to to loosen up mm -hmm. because you're so, when you're so used to a, a strong posture, then you can really think about like other you know like loosen it up. Okay, but watching yourself watching yourself like videotaping yourself like for me like i see myself every week <laughs> obviously so you can build up like you can actually um correct yourself okay right okay but when you uh watch other artists and videotape yourself also and compare it you can actually see the difference mm. right so um yeah the eyesight when you watch it comparison will help you okay so it's important to to watch and follow and practice because that's the only thing okay i'm telling you seriously okay yeah so uh instead of just having tips it's just constantly being comfortable with your body with the and you the have to know yourself moves. how you move okay so constantly mm -hmm. videotaping yourself constantly moving and trying to mimic that yeah the artist that's that helps a lot okay like even for me it helps like every week i feel like um i'm more um coming like, as a dancing queen <laughs> you're becoming more of a dancing queen each week because we get to see your no, videos seriously my friend uh she's a golfer golfer and um like even she's a she goes to lpga tour and she's like still she's a professional but she still videotape herself and she to, tries to see yeah okay. So even the professional, they do that. Okay. So, well, yeah. I mean, obviously, all of us when we, all the singers when they go on stage, they videotape. Yeah, and then we they do watch that again. all the time. Yeah, to monitor themselves. Yeah. Okay. So constant monitoring, monitoring uh -huh. is great. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, already though, that pretty much does it for the end of our segment. Oh yeah. We already talked our way to the end of the segment, so it's already time for us to say goodbye to Stephanie. Already. She's gonna be bringing us a very sexy dance next week. <laughs> Very sexy. It's just like it's a manly, sexy dance. 
I don't know yeah. how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try. All right. So we will see you next week. Maybe with, we need Steven. Maybe. Or, <laughs> yeah. We'll make somebody else try and dance next week. Like my manager or something. <laughs> All right. Well, then we'll see you then. All right. Bye. bye.